Hi, my name's Ed, and today I'm going to show you how to draw some famous cartoon faces. I'll show you how to draw Garfield, Pink Panther, SpongeBob. You can download this uh, sheet if you like, but I'm going to show you how to draw these for yourself. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's draw Garfield. So, um, find the middle of your page, and let's draw his nose. So, a little circle. Now, you're going to draw the centre of his eyes, so a nice straight line from his nose to about there. Leave yourself a gap. And let's draw a nice curved eye from here, and you're going to end up sort of there, sort of nine o'clock, if that's a clock. And then let's go round and join up. I do exactly the same on the other side, so instead of going left, you're going right, and you're going to end up here. So round, bring it round. Now, his eyelid, the line for his eyelid is quite low, so lower than the middle, so about there. Give it a slight curve. There we go. And you're going to draw a semicircle in the centre of each eye, and then you can colour that in if you like. Okay, let's do his uh, mouth. So, bottom of his nose, and you're going to bring your mouth all the way up to pass this eye eyelid. So, okay. Exactly the same on the other side, so you're going to aim for about here. You could put a dot there to help you. And there we go. And a little curve at the end of each uh, line for his mouth. And his cheeks are right up here, so curve it round. A little squiggle on the end. Same on the other side. I'm using my pen to line myself up round, little squiggle, and let's draw his ears, so find the center again, and you're going to aim for about here, bring your pen up and back down, so up and back down, same on the other side, so you could put a dot there to help you, and, and now we're going to join the top of his ear up with the other ear sort of come down to about here, so there we go. Now inside his uh, ears, you can have some shading, some little triangles. Colour those in. Just do that quickly for you. So we're going to join his ear to his cheek, a little curve there. Same on the other side. There we go, give him some whiskers. One, two, three. And down his chin is just down here at the bottom. So let's draw a slightly curved line from one eye joining up to the other eye. There we go. And finish off his face. So you're going to carry this line on and you're going to come to about here. So there we go. Same on the other side, so follow that curve round. There we go. And you can add some stripes in there. One, two, three. Same on the other side. One, two, three. Two, three. And there you go. There's Garfield's face. Okay, let's draw the Pink Panther. So, find the centre of your page, come across a bit to the left, draw a circle, and on the other side of your centre line, imaginary centre line, uh, let's have another circle. These are the Pink Panther's eyes. Let's join those two eyes up, and 
pairs his pupils for his eyes and take this line behind that eye and draw a nice ear and same on the other side. Okay, above each eye, draw a thin little rectangle for his eyebrows. Right, center of each eye, right in the middle, you're going to draw a triangle and join it up, but make this line a little bit curvy. Okay, now you're going to draw his chops, so take that line, carry it on, and you're going to come over to about where the ear starts. So bring this line and then come around. And you're going to do exactly the same on this side, on the right hand side. So imagine you're stopping in line about that eye there. So bring it around. So let's join these up. Again, following that curve that you had with your triangle nose. Okay, now let's draw that curve there and then same on the other side. Little line to split his chops up there. Okay, side of his head, so find the bottom of this ear and curve it around. Do the same on the other side. There we go, it's starting to look like a panther. Uh, let's do his little grin. So, line on each side. Little cheeks. Now we're gonna give him his chin, so sort of halfway between this center and the edge. You're gonna draw his chin coming round. We go. Give him some whiskers. One, two, three. One, two, three. And just finish off drawing a little shape inside each ear. There we go. Think pink. Let's draw Finn, the human, from Adventure Time. This one's really uh, simple to do. So draw yourself a nice big oval in the middle of your page. Two eyes either side. And now let's draw uh, Finn's mouth. Curve it round. Finn's got terrible teeth, so leave some gaps. And there we go. And his head is a line at the bottom. And you're going to bring this side up. Do the same on the other side. And then join them up. There we go. Okay, let's draw Charlie Brown. So find the middle of your page and let's draw his nose. So draw a C, a letter C. So his eyes either side, quite close to the nose. And let's draw his head. So bring your pen over to about there and you're going to bring it right round. But you're not going to draw all the way to meet up with where you started with. So find about there, sort of quarter of the way from the edge of your page. And nice big curve, but leave a gap. Now, the gaps for his ear, so you're going to draw a little ear there, and same on the other side. Nice big letter C again. 
This Char Charlie Brown is uh, happy in this picture, but you can give him different mouths if you like. So, there we go. And a little squiggle for his hair. So, bring it round, a little curve. There we go. Okay, let's draw uh, Homer Simpson. So, start off in the middle, bring your pen over a little bit to the left. Draw, that's Homer's eye. And you're gonna draw his nose. Bring that, keep that line going to about there. Now, his, his other eye is behind his nose, so if you use a pencil to draw a circle, Kind of like that, which kind of crosses over the eye you've drawn and his nose. And now you're just going to go over it in pen, but leave. And just quickly rub that out. Gives you, it gives the impression that the nose is in front of his eye. and. Carry on with your pen. Two little pupils there. Uh, let's do his eyebrow, like that. Okay, so we're going to do his big bold head now. So you're going to start where you were, bring it all the way around, and you're going to end up kind of over here. So I guess at the bottom of your eye. Give yourself a little dot to aim for. And you're going to go, there we go, and uh, let's give him an ear, so a little curve, a couple of lines. Now let's do his uh, mouth and his chin, so you're going to bring your pen here, sort of top lip, little curve. Follow it round, little line, starting to look a little bit like Homer. Bottom lip, and now this line is going to join up here, so bring it round. Give him a little line for his neck, and then same on the other side. Just give him a little bit of hair, so you're going to draw a, like a big capital letter M, so up, down. Up, down, and then two little lines for his little hair that he does have. There we go. There we go, simple Homer Simpson. Okay, let's draw SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, find the centre of your page, and you can draw a little tiny nose. There we go. Now let's draw each cheek, pretty much the same uh, shape again, slightly bigger. One over here, and then one over here. And you're going to draw his big eyes. And you, what you're going to do is you're going to go behind the nose and behind the cheeks. You can do it in pencil first if you like. Uh, so find the middle of his nose and you're going to aim for about here. There we go. And you've gone behind the cheek and join it up like that. And you're going to do the same on the other side. So go behind the cheek. So you don't draw, you don't draw there and you're going to come back around to the top. There we go. I mean, you can draw that, and you can draw two circles in pencil if you like, and then miss miss out the cheeks and the nose. Uh, two circles for his pupils. Make them towards the centre. Another one inside. There we go. Three eye lashes on each eye. One, two, three. 
Okay, now his uh, goofy grin is uh, a nice curve from the centre of each cheek. So, find the middle. Okay. Little line. Three dots in each cheek. Now, SpongeBob's got nice big teeth. There's one. Leave a gap. There's the other one. Give him a little wiggly line for his chin. And just to finish off, you're going to draw a nice big square. It can be slightly wobbly if you like. So find the top left hand corner and give a little wobble to that there. Same here. And give him some little sponge holes, I guess, either side. There you go. Okay, let's uh, draw Minnie Mouse. Uh, start at the bottom, nice curve round. Uh, nope, I want you on the table. Sorry, table. I'm going to um, right. Let's draw Minnie Mouse. So start off with a pencil, uh, and you're going to draw a nice circle in the middle of your page. You can draw around something if you're not confident drawing circles. It doesn't have to be perfect. And on the right-hand side of that bigger circle, you're going to draw a smaller circle which touches the edge of your circle that you've already drawn. So something like that. Again, you could draw around something smaller if you want. Okay, so. I'm going to draw Minnie with a hat on, so a line from about there up to about the centre, bring it down, and nice curve there to there. And her other ear is, again, another circle, same size as that one, and you're going to do it right at the top of her head, so, okay. And a nose is, if you find the sort of centre of her head, that circle, measure it roughly, and you're going to draw her nose kind of a curve. The curve of her nose comes out of this circle, so try and explain that the best I can. And this line here is going to is forms her mouth, so kind of about there maybe for a cheek, and you're going to carry your curve around. There we go. Take your time doing this. This is why I'm doing it in pencil, and her, the bottom of her mouth comes out just underneath this circle here. So if you Kind of do that, okay. And where you've joined the bottom of her mouth to the to the head, the circle, you're going to draw a curve uh, round like that, and then another one for where her eyes will be. bit tricky this one and there we go okay so put your pencil aside get your pen out and I'd start with the nose so if you draw the black nose color it in and you're gonna go over this line that you've already drawn give it another little line there you're gonna bring this one round Okay, these cartoon characters all have this little line at the end of their mouths. 
and from here you're going to use this line as a guide for yourself and you're going to come around like that and go over that line, you've already drawn that line and you're going to finish off the head by going over that first circle that you drew. Okay, go over this line again. Uh, two circles for eyes. Okay, yeah, this is mini I'm drawing, so give us some eyelashes. Okay, so just draw that part of the hat. This circle here for the ear. Uh, okay, so I've left this ear for last because I'm not going to draw the whole circle because this ear is behind the hat. So there we go. And you can put a little flower in our hat if you like. And once you're done, you can colour in. Oh, almost forgot the tongue. So a little curved line there and another one there. Colour in the mouth. And you'd colour in the ears. I'll just do it quickly. You'll have more time than me. And colour in this section here. There we go. There's many Mouse. Okay, one more. I'll draw a Blossom from the Powerpuff Girls. I'll just draw her face quickly. This is a nice one to do. So, uh, find the centre of your page, come up to the top and you're going to draw uh, circle like that. Now let's draw her hair, she's got like a fringe so if you go in from each side like that and you're going to come up and then back down, up and then back down. Find the middle, up, down, there you go. And she's got huge eyes so her eyes are behind the fringe so There we go, and same on the other side, so leave a little gap, maybe leave a little finger space there, and there we go. You can just do a little dash either side, and let's give her a cute little mouth. So she's got really big eyeballs, and there we go, so this is kind of perfect centre of your face where your starting point is and round again. Just neaten it up a bit. Inside each eye is a little shiny white bit. Colour that eyeball in there and another line there going round and the same on the other side. And her hair's in a bow, so there we go. Same on the other side. Doesn't matter if it's not even. Join it up. And her hair goes something like that. And then there's her body. Just quickly stick that in there. There we go. She's ready to save Townsville.